Oh, wow. Then I what a shot. How's that taste? Uh, it's, you know, it's potent. <laughs> <laughs> it's Put, po potent is an understatement. <laughs> Hi Quincy, Quincy's Hi. back. Yeah. Okay, so today we're gonna cut uh, Quincy's nails. As you can see, they're a little bit thick here, and we need to work on these. Look at look at this one. Yeah, and this one's pretty thick. So we're gonna get it down. But look look at this one is looking pretty good. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Out of all of these, huh? Comes back to life. All right, all right. So. Okay. So how's how's everything, Quincy? Yeah. Pretty good. Yeah. Yeah. So Quincy was just telling me earlier he wanted to lose some weight, right? Yeah. And then Quincy's been really good about his diet and all of that. So so tell tell me how things are going there. That's not working so good, you know. I'm just you're pretty conscientious about what not to eat and all that, right? Yeah. Yeah. Both fast foods and. Uh -huh. You know, I had enough of that for the rest of my life. <laughs> no, no more, right? I had my portion. Yeah, yeah, your portion. Yeah. For the for the for the whole whole life. The whole life, yeah. Well, looks like many people have many lives. Yeah. <laughs> Tell me about it. I know. It's not getting better. I know. It, it's so easy to just reach and just eat whatever available. So. I don't. I don't know if I ever told you my my regimen every day is quite uh, a little bit crazy. Most people probably think it's pretty funny, but I I carry a little like a bag full of full of goodies, so I don't um, get tempted to you know eat bad stuff, right? right. So I have my protein shakes. I have my um, juices, um, vegetable juices, obviously. And then I have my water there. I have my tea with, um, um, you know, uh, that, that helps like uh, uh, cinnamon and things that help uh, with my diabetes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I have that tea. And then uh, I have a little bit of coffee there with uh, stevia. Uh, I don't know if you know about stevia. Yeah. Yeah. The, it's the... Um, natural sugar that doesn't elevate your sugar, sugar level. Right. Yeah, so I use that in my coffee. So all of that, I have it in the bag. So, and then uh, obviously I want to make sure that I'm well hydrated, right? Mm -hmm. So I, I I drink a lot of water and juices, tea, and then all of those, and it's right there. So my goal every day is when I come to the office, I, I put them right on my desk. My goal is to finish all of them, right? <laughs> so I'm not guessing. Right. So it requires some planning, obviously. Obviously, my, my wife packs all of those for me every morning, so I don't have to do it. But it's such a routine now that, you know, we're able to do it. Do you have a routine like that? Yeah, I've been working on a routine, and it's been pretty good. I mean, uh, I start off with... Um, with uh, some ginger. Oh, ginger, oh, okay. Yeah, I, ginger. I, I do a shot in the morning with ginger. Well, my my water and lemon, of course. Uh -huh. I use water and lemon and drink my water. Oh, really? Okay. Canister every day. And okay. then I, I start off with uh, a herbal tea. Oh, okay. In the morning instead of the coffee. Oh, okay. And then I start off, uh, I drink this shot during the day. It's mm. ginger. It's mm. um, apple cider vinegar. Oh, really? Wow. Yeah. And, you do uh, that in the morning or in the... Uh, I started uh, maybe a, a quarter of it mm. in the morning. Oh, in the morning? Okay. And then I finish it off before lunch. Oh, really? Yeah. Wow. I do the same thing. I do the apple cider vinegar, uh, about a tablespoon with a half cup of water. That's the first thing I do in the morning. Mm -hmm kind of wake up my uh, gut, mm -hmm. replenish my, uh, you know, good bacteria. Mm -hmm. So I recommend it for a lot of people with acid reflux. Mm -hmm. Actually, it gets uh, acid reflux a lot better when you do the, when you do those shots. Yeah. Okay, so you do the same thing. Well, great. Yeah. So
So ginger, how do you mix it with ginger or I ginger make, in a separate? I mix it lime, ginger, and uh, and uh, yeah, and apple cider vinegar. I mix All it of it together. together? Yeah, oh I, wow! Just, what a shot! How's that taste? Uh, it's, you know, it's potent. Potent. <laughs> <laughs> Potent is an understatement, because I'm, you know, I've been doing this a long time with the apple cider vinegar. Uh, I'm still struggling. Yeah. I'm like, I'm not looking good when I do that. I'm going, ooh. I just, but but I, I just imagine it's good for you, right? Yeah. Wow, with the ginger on top of that? With ooh. ginger on top of it. Wow. Yep. And, um, and then uh, for lunch, I'll, I'll, you know, have some coleslaw, just a... Just the the cabbage, no, no pre mix nothing like. Oh that. really? Yeah, yeah. yeah. And I but pre mix some, one is the one that makes it yeah, tasty, though. Yeah. <laughs> I, I'm done with looking for taste. If I want yeah. taste, you just go right to the junk, that, right? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. You're right. Wow. But okay. I, I, but I also been, uh, I'll have that salad and then uh, and mix my own, you know, uh, dressing with some lime and. Oh really? Okay. Yeah. Okay. So, so you don't you don't use the things from the bottles and stuff. No. Huh? Yeah, yeah. Yeah. A lot of salad dressings are very unhealthy, mm -hmm. as you know. It's all with artificial stuff, and unless it says organic, that yeah. your stuff is just not good. And sometimes even that is a problem. Yeah. Okay. So that's good. Yeah. You get a lot of salad, then, huh? Yeah, a lot of salad, and that's pretty much it. You mm -hmm. know, that's during my day. And you you bring that to work? Yeah, so, I bring it to work. Oh, okay, so you kind of prepare all of that. Oh, huh? yeah, I prepare it myself. And yeah, that's good. I think that's what everybody needs to do, prepare their snack and lunch, even breakfast, you know, so that you're not tempted to... Uh, to just go out and... Order. Yeah, reach out, and then if people bring stuff, you're tempted to eat that, you know. So you just have to protect your territory, I call it. Yeah. What goes into your body, you, you know, it doesn't just fly in there. You know, you need right. to, you need to uh, make a decision to filter it. Mm -hmm. So once in a while, like like I cheat once in a while, like like on Saturday, but most of the days I'm not tempted to cheat because I'm not hungry. You know, mm -hmm. the moment you get hungry, then you're easily tempted, right? Yep. Yep. That's it. So how how about dinner? Dinner, I'll just have maybe. Um, um, like some, I like to make this. Uh, it's a wrap. Uh -huh. I kind of make a wrap. I know uh -huh. the bread is. It's kind of like a re, uh, uh, bread, uh, just a thin wrap. But I, normally it's just a vegetable wrap. I use an eggplant, uh, zucchini, uh, mm -hmm. red bell peppers, onions, mm -hmm. and uh, some uh, a little tahini in there. Mm. And I wrap it up. Wow. Micro greens. Really? Yeah. Is, is your wife helping you with all this, or? Oh yeah, she she uh, she's on board too. Yeah. Kids on board. Yeah. Oh good. That's that's really the important thing is that you you try to get your family involved yeah. because it's hard to be a stranger to your family, right? Yeah. And then try to do things differently, but it, it's hard because a lot of times the family's not on board, and you know. Yeah. And then it's difficult to prepare and then, you know, eat all that too, right? Yep. So, you're, you got a little ulcer here still open a little bit. So we clean that out, but we want to clean out this now a little bit more too. And then you're still doing your Peloton? Yeah, the Peloton. How's that going? I was in France yesterday. Is that right? <laughs> uh, uh, how was that? Where is your favorite country you would go visit with that thing? Um, actually, I like, um, where is it? I like the Oregon route. Oh, Oregon. Oh, yeah, they, they have got, um, they have some good trees, huh? Yeah, they got a nice scenic route out there, and Utah got a nice scenic route. Uh-huh. Yeah. All, all nature there, though, huh? Yeah. Oh, that must be nice. A lot of, lot of hills and yeah. huge, like, um, trees, right? Yep. Is it summer thing or is that you can change into winter or what? No, they just have one. One one way. Mm -hmm. One deal. Uh -huh. 
I guess they were updated eventually. So how many how many miles um, do you? Normally, uh, it's like um, you can do twenty to thirty miles, um, and you know. You no really? Spread. How long does that take? Not really takes around about depends on uh, mm -hmm. what cadence you have it on. Yeah. Mm -hmm. If you uh, depends on your speed. Your speed, yeah. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. not really takes me about forty to forty five to an hour. Oh really? Wow, that's a good exercise. Are you sweating? Oh yeah. A lot? Yep. Oh yeah. So when it when it goes up the hill the you can feel the hill as you're going up? Yep. Oh wow. So can you can you like uh designate certain amount of uh, difficulty? Yep. Oh okay. Yep. yep. So when you don't feel like it you don't wanna like be climbing mountains, right? Yeah. And you can drop it down as you go. Yeah, yeah. So, have you improved a lot, like your 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 um, levels and different, you know, like the length of the, the ride and things like that? Yeah, the endurance is pretty good. You know, it's been building up, and uh, you know, I'm just trying to stay at a certain cadence for the strength uh -huh. of, the, of the bike, and uh, seems like you're going uphill, but you. You can strip it to uh, you be on level ground, but it's still just as difficult like going up the hill or down the hill. Yeah. So you can adjust it, so it's pretty cool. Oh, going down the hill? I didn't even think about that one. Yeah. So you have to kind of slow down? Uh, slow down? Or, yeah, you can slow it down, you can speed it up. Uh huh. Or you can. Uh, or get into a class, you know, they have a class. Uh huh. And then, uh, I just like to see it for myself. Oh, okay. What do you mean you do a class? They have a, they have a live person there on schedule, and you sign up for a class. Oh, and, I see. Is there like uh, a lot of other people doing it too? Yeah. Oh, okay. Wow. But you know, at the same, same time when you're on the scenic route, there's other people riding too, the same scene. Oh, I see. Wow. That sounds great if you love the uh, bike ride. And I and I recommend all my, a lot of my patients when they hurt their feet, you know, they, they want to continue walking. I said, no, don't walk. Get on a bike, you know? Right. And it's a lot easier on your feet. And I think that may be a really good thing to do, you know? Yeah. Use Peloton or bike or getting out there or even outside these days. When it's sunny, right? Get some sun and go out to do that, or if not, just use that machine. Yeah. Yeah, it's good to have the uh, channels of your feet. Right. So, a lot of people think the swimming is okay, but uh, that's a lot of pressure. The water is uh, quite hard. People don't realize that, and they can really hurt their feet, too. So. My my go-to exercise when they're when they have foot problems is uh, is bicycle. Oh, really? Yeah, oh. yeah. And it's the easiest one for your feet. You're still getting your cardio, you know. Mm -hmm. You're still being able to burn burn calories and you know by stationary bike even better because then you don't have to worry about getting injured, you know. Because yeah. when you're out there, you can get injured yeah. too. So I think it's a really good way to. This toe is getting pretty hot now. I've been grinding it for a while. So I may come back to that. So how's your diabetes these days? Yeah, it's been down since I've been doing that, that regimen. It's been uh, pretty down. Uh-huh. You know, so I'm just maintaining it. That's all. Yeah. You know, you stay away from the junk food and, you know, that's it. Useless cars. Uh huh. So you're not taking medicine right, right now, right? Mm -hmm. So you haven't taken medicine in a while. Yeah. 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 You go see the doctor about yeah. it. What yeah. did the doctor say? Mine is pretty good. I got a point over here. Uh, well, no, I called her. I was going to make a point with her. 
What's your A1C like? Uh, 6.9. 6.9? Yeah. Okay, that's pretty good. Yeah. So yeah. Your, do your doctor doesn't say to be on the medicine because it's 6.9? No. 6, 6 is normal, below 6 is normal. Yeah. Uh, down to like 5.8, yeah. so... But you know, I, I do have my medicine. I mean, it's prescribed, but I take it when I need it. You know? Oh, I see. I, I, I'm a... I'm a I'm totally advocate of checking myself three times a day. Oh, really? Yeah. Oh, wow. Yeah. When I was first diagnosed, I was checking seven, eight times a day. Oh, really? And I kept running out of fingers to poke because oh, yeah. it, was, it was hurting a lot. Then just test for <laughs> Yeah. So I, I hated doing it myself. You know? Yeah. I don't even do it anymore. I can tell. If my sugar is over 200, I get this a little bit of headache. Yeah. So I know when it's over 200. I don't want it to go over 200, right? right. So that, that's my test. Yeah. So I don't usually eat that much sugar anyway, so it doesn't go up. But when I do cheat and I'm tired, when I'm not tired, actually it doesn't go up. Mm -hmm. But say I'm, I'm tired and then I, and I feel this headache. Uh -huh. uh, and then, then I know it's over 200. Yeah. Which I don't like, you know, but it doesn't last that long. But yeah, the key is, if it goes up, you gotta come back down. Yeah, you gotta come back down. So I, I get up, I walk around, or yeah. I burn the sugar right away, right? Yeah. So I tell people, right after you eat, all diabetics need to, rather than grabbing the dessert, yeah. you get up and walk. If you happen to be talking to somebody, yeah. go walk with that person. Actually, the conversation even gets even better. Yeah. You know, with the, uh, you know. Especially if you need a lot of carbs. I mean, those carbs come in the sugar. Right, right. Then you got a problem. Right. But then you got a bunch of the food, too. Yeah. You know, the high sugar in the Yeah. So actually, you know, we Koreans eat a lot of rice, right? Mm -hmm. And we cannot have meal without rice. So what I've been doing, what my wife's been doing is uh, cooking oats. Oats. Oh yeah, you yeah. About that. yeah, we we steam it. So actually, you know, I always thought oats were pretty hard, mm -hmm. but when you steam it and uh, cook it in the cooker, mm -hmm. it, it's not that hard. It's really soft. I mean, I was really surprised, and it really uh, doesn't affect the sugar that much at all. So, and you and it tastes really good actually. It's the a little road, bit. Road oats or still cut? Well, you know what? That's a good question. Yeah. That's a question for my wife. <laughs> I don't know anything like that. I just, I just eat it, you know. Yeah. But it's really uh, soft and it tastes really good. Actually, it's a little bit chewy, you know. Yeah. So. Good. Oh, is that right? Oh. Yeah. I don't know what she gets, but it's really good. Yeah. I highly recommend people to eat that instead of the uh, rice, you know. I always like the brown rice, but I really started really liking oats even better. Better than the uh, uh, brown rice. You know? No, not at all. Oats is very low in carbs. Actually, a lot lower than brown rice, I think. Yeah. yeah, so I, we always avoided it because of the the roughness of it, but that's really not what, what's happening. So we got this nailed down quite a bit. I can be here all day, but maybe we'll do some more next time, huh? Yep. Look, look how much I got down, huh? Good. Yeah. So I'll do some more next time. And I eat a lot of kimchi, you know? Kimchi, yeah. yeah, we have a refrigerator just dedicated to kimchi. Mm -hmm. We have, you name it, we got radish kimchi, we got cabbage kimchi, we got all kinds of like a, a cucumber kimchi, you name it. Mm -hmm. There are 120 different kinds of kimchi available out there. And it's probably one of the best foods out there to eat. 
because it's got a lot of good bacteria, right? Mm -hmm. And there's a definite connection between having a lot of good bacteria and eliminating diabetes, which is what I was able to do with the replenishing a lot of good bacteria really, really been very helpful for my diabetes, so. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, if you can, it's an acquired taste, right? It's a, it's a little bit spicy, you know? Just so. like McDonald's, huh? <laughs> so, so we got it down quite a bit today. We'll do some more on this one, because I can be here all day a little bit. So we got the nails done pretty well. We have a few more things to do for you, but just wanted to show the audience how we, we get your thick nails down. Let's take a picture here. Okay, thank you for allowing us to film you today, Quincy. Thank you. Thank you.